Hi guys, it's Jasmine here. Welcome to Jasmine's Disney World. So today we're going to be exploring the wonders of walking water with the help of my trusty companions, which are my lovely primary and secondary food colorings. So today we're going to be learning about primary and secondary colors. And you're also going to be watching this super cool experiment. So it's a win-win, if I should say. Okay, so I'm getting bored of this chit chat. So let's go. Let's move on to the experiment. Oh wait, no. We need to move on on to what you need first. Pray. Okay. So let's actually start. So things you need are like these two cups are just like there for decoration. You need three spoons. You then need three food colorings, which are the primary colors. And the primary colors are red, which is number one, number two is yellow, and number three is blue. So now you know all about the dun, 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 primary colors. Okay, so you need those colored food colorings. Then you're going to need five glasses. I've chosen small ones, which are widely known as shot glasses which you use to drink for drinking wine and stuff. And I know something to do with that. And then, or you could use big glasses, which you can, which it's up to you basically. I'm just using that so that it will make, so, so my experiment will go faster, even though I'm gonna be using time-lapse. <laughs> okay, so, so you're gonna need your five glasses. Then you're gonna get your glasses and you're gonna put, you, you're gonna set them out like this. And then you're going to put water in this cup, this cup, and this cup. So you should be putting water in three cups, alternative, al in an alternative sequence. So you're going to have to fill it three quarters. So I'd say around a little bit, well, kind of a lot more than a half, but not too much more, if that makes sense. <laughs> okay, so, and you're going to leave these ones empty. You need to do that for these three. Okay, now... Enough of this chit-chatting, let's get started. Let's move on to the experiment. Okay, so I am going to be showing you. So you're going to need to do this in this particular order. Now there's a reason behind this, because otherwise it's going to make your thing go hocus pocus, and you don't want that. <laughs> so I'm going to put some blue first. So I'm going to do this like that. Oh my god, can you see that? It's so pretty. Okay. Now you're going to do one more drop, I think. Maybe just one more. Okay, yeah, that should be enough. Don't want to overdo it, otherwise it won't really make, um, make it look good. Oops, just put it here. Ugh, who cares? I'm just doing it like that. And now we're going to pop some yellow in. Now you have to do the yellow in the middle, otherwise it's going to not become what you want it to be. Oops, just one more. There we are. Now you can, now you can see... Oh, okay. Yeah, so now you can see that it's not totally spreading, but that's why you've got your spoons. I'm just going to pop my red now. Oof. I want to put maybe a bit more. Yeah, that's good. So now I'm just going to pop the lids back on, just because I don't want it to get all messy. Because, yeah. Okay, so I have popped the caps back on, put it back in my glass. Now, I'm going to pop it there. Now, you're going to need three spoons or anything you can mix it. Because you don't want to end up, like, just keeping it on like this. And you don't want to, like, mix blue and, let's just say, yellow with the same spoon. And you don't want to do, like, any other. You just want to do three separate mixes. So, I'm going to mix the blue. Oh, you can see it now. It's really pretty. It's a nice blue. I'm just going to pop that here. Next, I'm going to do the yellow. Let's mix it. Ooh. I think I should add some more yellow. I think I will. Just another drop to make it, yeah, just stand out. There we are. Gucci. <laughs> so now I've mixed that one. Just going to pop that aside. And last of all, I'm going to be mixing my red. Okay, so... I've mixed my red. Now, let's get back on, oopsies, to the experiment. Okay, 
<laughs> so now the next thing I'm gonna need are some tissues. Oh my god, I forgot to mention the tissues. Oopsie daisies. Well, I'll just do it now. So you're gonna need some tissues. You don't need to do it from a box. I just have this box. I'm gonna use it. So here I have just a normal tissue. I'm gonna show you how you can do this. So I'm gonna like, do you see this? If I just do it like there, I think you can. So now I'm gonna just fold this basically. That's all you need to do. You need to fold it until your like tissue becomes like a straw. But you can't drink out of it, okay? So don't end up drinking out of it. <laughs> so next you're just gonna grab your you're gonna grab the middle part. Can you see? Yeah, I think you can. Then you're gonna fold this part over. Make it pretty much equal. Like that, I'd say. It doesn't need to be totally equal because, yeah. But you need to make it roughly the same. So here I've already made some. As you can see, you're gonna need four if you're arranging it in this method, in this way, I could say. So you're gonna grab your thing. And basically, all you're gonna do is you're gonna grab one end and you're gonna pop it into the blue. Now you're gonna quickly, real quickly, because this spreads kind of fast, you're gonna put, oops, okay. And you're gonna push it into that cup. Next, you're just gonna grab this and do the same to the yellow. Then you can do this here. Now we are not finished because the yellow still needs to be popped in there, like that. So you wanna make sure that they both look pretty much the same. Ooh, you don't wanna get color on you. I'm just gonna wipe it on here. So as you can see there, the water is basically, it has traveled all the way there and it's gonna travel into this cup. And this one has been sucked up and it's gonna travel there. And this one has been traveled, is traveling into this one. And this one, the, from the red, it's going into this empty cup. So, and then you wanna like touch it. If you have on the glasses that are empty, you wanna touch it so that when, when the um, primary colors, they go together, they're gonna meet up here at some point. And when that point arrives, you're gonna have to like, you're gonna have to keep it together so that it forms a different color. Now I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna, now I'm gonna tell you a spoiler alert. This is gonna, wait, actually. If you're a ch child or you're a parent, whoever's watching this, quick question. Quick quiz, actually. What does blue and yellow make? What color? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Blah. Okay, time's up. Fine, I'll give you one more second. One, done. It makes green. Yup, you got it right. Give yourself a pat on the back. Okay, now another quick quiz. What does yellow and red make? Dun, 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 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right, I'll give you one more minute. No, one more second. One. Sorry, time's up. Now, this makes, yup, that's right, it makes orange. Good job. I think you need to give yourself two pats on the back for the amazing job you've done. Okay, so I'm gonna leave this. Oh my God, look, 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 look. Do you see that? Do you see that? Do you literally see that? The R, like I told you, they have mixed together. It's so, so cool. Like the orange, no, the yellow, and then the blue are mixing and they're like a green. And this yellow and this red is, make, is gonna make an orange. Okay, so camera back to me. So I'm gonna keep this on time lapse and I'm gonna show you, this is gonna, so I'm gonna wait for like half an hour or like 25 minutes or something. And by then this should become, this, this should have a nice green color in it and this should have an orange one. So I'm gonna see you in half an hour, bye. But for you, it will only be like 20 seconds or so. So yeah, so I'll see you in around half an hour. Bye. Until then, you gotta see this and hopefully it will blow your minds. Bye. Hi guys, it's Jazz and 
here and and we are back from the time lapse video so uh, i hope you guys enjoyed that time lapse thing i'm pre i'm pretty sure you must have been like omg what <gasps> must have been like that <laughs> okay so that was basically my reaction when i first came in through the door and i saw this i was like what so it really blew my mind so as you can see the yellow and blue have obviously made a really nice shade of green it, it's like a tur it's like a dark green but then it's like turquoise -ish sort of color but then it's like more dark as possible and then obviously the red and the yellow made a really pretty sort of an orange color. Like I, it's, it's like so nice. Okay, so now I'm gonna take out the tissues and I'm gonna be showing you how wonderful it looks like. So here I have a dish here, just like a shallow, just, it's not even shallow, it's just a nice little plate. It, I forgot to mention it before, but it's optional if you wanna take them out. Well, you're gonna have to take them out. But yeah, I'm gonna do mine here because I tried this before and it had soup and it looked super cool. Okay, so let's get started. So I'm gonna take out the blue and you can see it looks very I'm gonna just pop them all in and then I can show you. So I pop the blue. It's just a nice boring strand of blue, as you can see. Next I'm gonna be grabbing the yellow one. That and as you can see there is quite a bit of green there and there's like a tiny bit of green over here on the blue and next i'm going to be getting out the reddish orange color oh my god look how pretty it looks it, it made like sort of a pinkish color that i really like and of course our final one which is our Red. It's got some yellow on the side, as you can see. There's green, there's green, and there's some pinkish color. So now I'm going to show you all of it. It's super cool, and I really like it. Now, enough of that. And what I'm really looking forward to showing you is these. Have you seen just how cool these have turned out? I'll put them in rainbow order. So obviously this is rainbow order and it has turned out so pretty. Like this, obviously I put this food coloring on, it looks nice, but this orange is just like, what? It's so pretty. The art, the yellow is the same and the green is just turned out like really dark, but it's super pretty. And yeah, let me try and see if I've got anything green on me. No, mm, that's okay, but and then I've got a really pretty shade of blue. To be honest, if you use food color, you could literally drink this. You'd be like, ah. No, if you were like, the, no, you could act out as being like the queen or something. You'd be like, pass me that blue lagoon. Blue lagoon is a type of drink, by the way. So, I can be here. <laughs> okay, enough of that drama. Okay, so it's always good to have a bit of humor in your life. And so, yeah. Oh, another cool thing that I did last time was I got the colors and basically I arranged them into a pretty little flower. So, you don't, so like, it look at the colors, they turned out really pretty with just using these three cup, the three primary colors. It has turned out to be a super successful experiment and it doesn't even take very long. Well, it does take a little quite a bit of what quite a bit of time but it has super cool results that totally beat the time limit and i think it's totally worth for you if you're sitting on the couch or i don't know watching on your dining table it's definitely worth for you to try instead of just sitting back and watching tv because it's super fun and yeah i really really enjoyed doing this i and yeah, I love, love, loved it. And yeah. 
So if you want, once you're done, you can just like mix the colors together, <laughs> may have lots of fun and that stuff. But I'm not gonna do that right now because I love the view. Okay, so that's enough for now. Tune in for my next experiment. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and of course share to your friends, families, friends, family, and any anyone else. And don't forget to keep on watching my new videos. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please, please, please subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to watch my other videos, like my previous ones, like my magic tricks, and also my and also my my other science experiments because I think that's something that you're definitely gonna enjoy. Okay, I don't know why I'm speaking so fast, but yeah, goodbye. See ya. Tune in for my next video.